This message is brought to you by the Taxpayer Advocate Service. Your voice at the IRS. Hello, I'm Nina Olson, the National Taxpayer Advocate. I lead the Taxpayer Advocate Service, and we're bringing you a series of consumer tax tips to help you understand some important tax issues you may be facing. This series focuses on IRS audits, which are also called examinations. I know the word audit may sound intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Today I'm going to talk about what to do if you do not agree with the IRS during an audit. If the IRS audits your tax return and accepts your records for the items in question, you will receive a letter from the IRS letting you know that no changes were made to your tax return. Be sure to keep this letter with your tax records. If the IRS does not receive or does not accept your records, you will get a report that tells you what the IRS wants to change on your return and why. At this point, you can either agree with the IRS's proposal and sign the report, or you can disagree or appeal the decision. Do not sign the IRS report if you disagree with the changes. Instead, you can send in more records or an explanation of why you don't agree with the IRS. If you have already sent this information, you still have a number of options. You can ask for a meeting with the auditor's manager, or you can request a meeting with the IRS Office of Appeals. You have 30 days to do either of these things, but remember it is very important that you ask for an appeal within 30 days of the date you get the IRS letter with the proposed changes to return if you haven't resolved your case with the IRS. The IRS Appeals Office is separate and independent from the IRS Office auditing your return and is set up to resolve tax issues without going to court. When Appeals receives your case, the office will contact you to arrange a meeting. The Appeals Office usually holds these meetings by telephone or correspondence, but you can ask for a face-to-face -face meeting, too. During your Appeals Conference, you need to be ready to discuss and support all the items you don't agree with on the IRS's report. While most disputed items can be resolved in appeals, if you disagree with the appeals decision, you may be able to take your case to the tax court. The United States Tax Court is an independent, specialized court where you can have a judge listen to your case and decide whether you owe additional taxes before you pay. It is not controlled by or connected with the Internal Revenue Service. The Tax Court's website is www.ustaxcourt.gov. At the Tax Court website, you can watch a video that explains the Tax Court process, and you can find the forms you need to file a petition to start your case. Appealing an audit decision can seem very complex and perhaps even a little overwhelming. To learn more about what steps to take, you can read about the process yourself or go to a qualified tax advisor. If you are a low-income taxpayer or English is not your first language, you may want to discuss your case with a low-income taxpayer clinic. Low-income taxpayer clinics are independent organizations that represent low-income taxpayers before the IRS and help guide them through the audit process for free or for a small charge. Many low-income taxpayer clinics can also provide multilingual information about your rights and responsibilities as a taxpayer. IRS Publication 4134, Low Income Taxpayer Clinic List, provides contact information on clinics in your area. You can learn more about appealing an audit decision by looking over the publications included with your first letter from the IRS. IRS Publication 3498A, the examination process, examinations by mail, provides an overview of how to request an appeal. You can also find more detailed information in Publication 5, your appeal rights and how to prepare a protest if you don't agree. You can find all these publications on the IRS website at www.irs.gov. 
If you still have questions, call the IRS toll-free at 1-800-829-1040 or visit an IRS Taxpayer Assistance Center. However, if you have a tax problem that is causing you financial difficulty or significant cost, or you have tried to resolve your issue through normal IRS channels without success, you can come to the Taxpayer Advocate Service. We're an independent organization within the IRS, so our people know the system and can help you navigate it. We will listen to your problem, help you understand what needs to be done to resolve it, and stay with you every step of the way until your problem is resolved. We have at least one local taxpayer advocate office in each state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. You can call your local advocate whose number is in your phone book or call our toll-free case intake line at 1-877-ASK-TAS-1, A-S-K-T-A-S-1, or 1-877-275-8271. Remember, you have rights as a taxpayer that the IRS must abide by in its dealings with you. To learn more about those rights, you can visit our website at www.irs.gov advocate and click on Tax Toolkit. I hope this information helps. Thank you. And remember, the Taxpayer Advocate Service is your voice at the IRS.